Hi! Welcome to KMath TV. In this video, I'll show you how to multiply mixed number and a whole number. To multiply mixed number and a whole number, the first step is to change the mixed number into improper fraction and express the whole number as a fraction with a denominator 1. Okay, let's do the first step. Let's change 5 and 3 fourths to improper fraction. Multiply the denominator and the whole number. 4 times 5 equals 20. Then, add the numerator plus 3. 20 plus 3 equals 23. Write the answer as a numerator. And, copy the denominator. 4. Okay. 5 and 3 fourths is 23 fourths in improper fraction. Next, let's write the whole number 9 as a fraction with a denominator 1. That means we will write the whole number 9 as a numerator and we will put a denominator 1. Okay, we're done with the first step. Second step is to multiply. Multiply the numerators and multiply also the denominators. Okay, let's multiply the numerators. 23 times 9 equals 207. Multiply the denominators. 4 times 1 equals 4. Okay, the answer is... 207 fourths. Okay, last step is to simplify the answer. The answer is an improper fraction, so we can simplify it by dividing the numerator by the denominator. If we divide 207 by 4, the quotient is 51, and the remainder is 3. Okay, since there is a remainder, we will write the answer as a mixed number. Now, let's write the answer. The quotient 51 is the whole number. The remainder 3 is the numerator. And the divisor 4 is the denominator. Okay, this is the final answer. Another example, 10 times 3 and 6 eighths. Okay, let's answer. Let's write the whole number 10 as a fraction with a denominator 1. Next, let's change the mixed number to improper fraction. Multiply the denominator and the whole number. 8 times 3 equals 24. Then, add the numerator 6. 24 plus 6 equals 30. This is the numerator. Next, copy the denominator, 8. Okay, next step is to multiply. Multiply the numerators and multiply also the denominators. Or, Use cancellation before multiplying. And in this example, we can use cancellation. Okay, the numerator 10 and the denominator 8. They are both even numbers, so they have GCF. The GCF of 10 and 8 is 2. So let's divide them by 2. Okay, cancel, cancel. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Okay, now look at the numerator of the multiplier, 30, and the denominator is 4. We can still cancel them because they have GCF. So let's divide them by their GCF 2. Cancel, cancel, then divide. 30 divided by 2 equals 
15. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Okay, we are done with the cancellation process. Now, let's multiply. Multiply the numerators. 5 times 15 equals 75. Then, multiply also the denominators. 1 times 2 equals 2. Okay, the answer now is 75 halves. It is an improper fraction, so let's proceed to the last step, which is to simplify. Let's divide the numerator by the denominator. If we divide 75 by 2, the quotient is 37 and the remainder is 1. Since there is a remainder, we will write the answer as a mixed number. Okay, the quotient 37 is the whole number. The remainder 1 is the numerator. And the divisor 2 is the denominator. Okay, the final answer is 37 and 1 half.